Hey guys, it's Michael Lafito. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about the importance of first impressions with high-end homes and doing the exact opposite of your competition. Okay, Michael Lafito here. Again, in previous videos, we talked about first impressions. If you remember a video I did last month, we talked about matched pairs when you have five similar properties and some do the cosmetic improvements versus others that do substantial improvements, what that does for the marketplace. Well, one of the things that I uh, like to say is prove them wrong. You're going to see a, a picture with uh, the prove them wrong behind my desk that I have hanging. And I love that sign because I'm proving naysayers wrong all the time. And I don't know if about you, but maybe you had a high school teacher or coach that told you you couldn't do something. Well, the multi-million dollar marketplace is very challenging in Chicagoland. And I love proving them wrong. Recently, I just listed a, a property um, a couple weeks ago in Geneva, Illinois. There hasn't been a sale above Geneva above $2 million in multiple years. Matter of fact, there's been only one sale in all of Kane County above $2 million in the last two years for the entire county. Well, I'm glad to say that we had multiple offers and we have an accepted offer on that property because the sellers were open to our ideas and it's amazing property, first off. But that's what it takes to get these properties sold. This beautiful home that you're seeing behind me, we just listed for $5.985 million, called $6 million, but just under. It took us almost five months to go to market. So you're going to see some before and after shots of this home, including a kitchen. It had green kitchen cabinets. I'm all about uh, positioning a home so that the majority of the buyers can see themselves, can visualize themselves moving in. So we did some neutralization. We toned some things down, including the kitchen cabinets. We painted walls. We put in some hardwood, or excuse me, we carpeted over some cork flooring in the, the lower level, and we made it much more um, uh, appealing to the masses. And it's an amazing property. The sellers were amazing to work with because they were open to the ideas because there hasn't been a whole lot of uh, sales above four and a half million in the last handful of years in Highland Park. We're just three and a half miles away from, or uh, about three and a half miles away from Michael Jordan's home. This house has been on the market, as you might know, for some time. So again, be willing to do the exact opposite of your competition. Your competition has the idea, and this is, by the way is my workbook that I teach these skills to agents across the country on best marketing practices. But most of the competition, they have a scarcity mindset. Let's get it on the market right away where technically we missed a lot of the prime season before we went on the market with this house. But we wanted to do it right because you only have one time to make a first impression almost five months to go to market on this home but you'll see those before and after photos and uh, you can click on a link below to see all the final photos this home has over 150 feet of lake michigan that's right lake michigan is directly behind this house it's got beach rights uh, it's an amazing property so remember it's not the market it's the marketing you've heard me say that in a lot of videos but i can't say it enough it's not just the marketing with what you do online or offline it's everything that you do before the home's even on the market to prove the naysayers wrong. So that's, that's my, my big tip for today is prove them wrong when everybody's telling you it can't be done. I love when people tell me that, and I hope you do as well. Michael Lafito, and I hope this video was educational. If you have any other questions, feel free to reply to this email. And remember, first impressions is important. Take your time and do the things that your competition isn't willing to do. Because remember, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Take care.